students welcome to the module 3 of the subject applications of computer in pharmacy so this is unit 3 and this particular chapter whose title is applications of computer in pharmacy we shall be studying the following content first we shall talk about the drug information storage and retrieval followed by pharmacokinetics drug design, mathematical modeling in drug design, under computational approaches we have to study about the hospital and clinical pharmacy, the electronic prescribing and discharge system, the barcode medicine identification system, the automated dispensing of the drugs, the mobile technology, adherence monitoring, the diagnostic system, followed by patient monitoring system and the importance of all such functions in pharmacy. So before moving in detail, so in case of hospital and clinical pharmacy, hospital pharmacy is that section in the hospital where the drugs are received and uh, the medicines and professional supplies takes place you have to store it, dispense it to the inpatients, in outpatients and it may have a manufacturing extension also to manufacture the pharmaceuticals and parenterals in bulk. So, hospital pharmacy is all about receiving the drugs, maintaining uh, an inventory by storing them and ultimately dispensing the medications. Clinical pharmacy is that branch which is concerned with the rational selection and use of medication of the patient level. It also ensure whether the, there is appropriate and safe use of drug or not in the patient care. So if we talk about the use of computers in hospital, the main use is to maintain the patient record database, which is continuously up updated so as to reflect the current status for all the patients. So other than this, the electronic prescribing and discharge will also be uh, an integral component. The automated dispensing of the drug is also made possible because of computers. You can uh, stick to the adherence monitoring. Other than this, the barcode medicine identification, the mobile technology, the diagnostic systems, and lab di diagnostic systems are one of the key, many of the key features that are possible because of computers. So the information which will be stored will give the patient's name, its information about what is the patient age, what is the gender of the patient, the room number, where the patient is admitted, how much is the height weight ratio any history for uh, allergy etc the present diagnosis the physician who is taking care of that particular patient and any other disease the patient is suffering from and the drug described in the special notes so not only this we are able to Another most important use of computers in pharmacy involve barcode medical medicine identification. Barcode is actually a way of representing data which is uh, readable actually by an optical machine or a scanner. You might have observed it in the local stores and malls also. So this barcode contain data about that particular object to which it is uh, attached or uh, placed on the label so they are actually scanned by optical scanners which are also called barcode readers the barcode labels are printed with a unique product identification or tracking number for the product you might have observed this for not only food items but for cosmetics and uh, for big packages so barcode identification system for medicines have been used with electronic prescription systems and they 
are found to reduce the medicine administration errors as well as they are pretended to improvise the completeness of medication history. So this medicine information at the point of administration is an interruptive process and that's why the health professionals often develop work around to circumvent this uh, barcode scanning. So this barcode medicine identification, it rely on the original barcode packs. While it is the norm in some countries, it is not routine in case of other countries like UK. So barcode medicine identification or wards rely on the availability of what is the configuration and how much is the scalability of that appropriate hardware. So another important point which is to be noted here is falsified medicine directives that is called FMD. They due to the implemented in 2017, they call for unique identification of medicine at the point of dispensing. So as to uh, overcome this counterfeiting uh, approach. So on the whole this barcode identification with optical scanner or the reader is very useful approach in the pharmacy system.
these are a few books that I have referred for preparing this content for you. Thank you for your patient listening.